This is the brand new exclusive Hydra chest in World Defenders. We're going to roll on this chest until we hit the epic 1% Coral Hydra. Once we complete the Hydra Dream Team, we'll be taking them into Plunder's hardest map to test them out against Gold Bones and his army. Thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get into the video. Welcome back to Hydra Isles where we are going to be spinning on the Hydra crate until we get all five of the Hydras. If we manage to get duplicates of any of the higher ones, just like the Tiki or Coral, I will be putting them up for sale on my uh, marketplace and they'll be pretty cheap. So if you see me in game, check my, check my stall, you might get a good deal. So. Guys, let's dive right in. I don't know how many this is gonna take. Typically, I get unlucky with this, but we're gonna roll until we get it. So let's go. I'm excited for this one. I've been looking forward to this new crate. So here we go, 10 Hydra chests. Can we get lucky? Can we get the one percenter nice and early? Let's begin. We need all of these right now. So, oh, of course you're gonna tease off the first one. We've got the Aqua. Hydra. Ooh, 24% on the Red Reef Hydra and the 10%. Okay, that's three down. We've got the whole left side already. Pretty epic. Aqua. Oh, can it be? No. Okay, first 10 down. Nothing too crazy. Now, guys, quick note. If you are in playing, if you stay in the game for, I think it is 90 minutes, a 90 minute game session, then you can actually roll on the crate once for free every single day. And as you can see, it resets down below. I've been in quite a while playing, so my timer is down to 60 four minutes so it is a pretty epic way of getting a roll on the crate if you wanted to try and of course you can unlock some in your season pass as well so a few ways of getting this which is pretty epic but let's keep going we want to see if we can really get these rare tiki and coral hydras oh it always starts with a tease it's more aqua okay 20 down nothing just yet hopefully we can get this under rate that's what we really want. We want to get lucky on it. Is that it? No, it's not. Oh, the tease. The tease is real. Okay, Aqua. Oh, so guys, if you accidentally click off, because I just clicked a player underneath me there, even though I had 10 rolls, do check your inventory because you do get awarded all 10 of your rolls that would have gone through. So I need to have a look here and see if I got anything new. Uh, let me type in Hydra. Let's see. Oh, I got one. I got a Coral Hydra, there's no way I didn't get to see it. Oh, that's so annoying. But we did get a Coral Hydra and we actually got one before we got the Tiki Hydra, which is insane. Oh, that's so unlucky. Somebody stood under me and I clicked on their player, but that's okay. We still need to get the Tiki one. So if I get a second Coral Hydra, I will of course give it to you guys. Let's keep it going. Aqua, Aqua, Aqua. Is this just gonna be there it is, the Tiki, we got it. Wait, we're done? Whoa, that was super fast. We got super lucky with that, guys. That is epic. Wait, we probably saw it pop up down here and I didn't even notice. That's insane. Welcome everyone to Gold Bones Island. We are here and ready to fight and we've got these big, amazing Hydras ready to go. So this is gonna be a pretty epic team. I can feel it already. This team is gonna be nuts. As you can see, we've got the Tiki Hydra out first. It's doing a lot of work there. And you know what? We'll go with a second one because the Tiki Hydra I tested previously and actually has a two placement maximum. So only two of these can actually be placed out. And that makes sense because they're actually really, really good. 750 for the first placement, guys, with 5,000 cost. And of course, it will upgrade and get better and better. 750 goes to 993, but for a cheap upgrade, especially in the map like this, where we're gonna get a lot of money really, really fast. So, two Tikis up the front. Skeletals I will place next. They're a pretty good bit weaker, but they do have a much higher amount of placement with five. So what I'm gonna do is place some of them I'll get this first one in here, but I'm gonna place some outside the on these outer islands just because I don't want to like bog down the map because there's such big towers that when we have 20 of these, it could become an issue. And um, because this map naturally has less space with the water, so we just have to be careful where we place them. So if we tried to place another tiki, just to show you guys, that is a double placement, just two of them. But like I said, we can do five skeletal hydras. So we're gonna do a line of skeletal hydras. Then we're gonna look at red reef and aqua. And finally, we'll get to coral. But we need to just pay attention and make sure we don't actually leak any of these either. Because you know, there's pretty big enemies that come out pretty fast. 
So let's make sure we, we can hold these guys back. Right, so there is the Skeletal Hydra, just so you can take a look at the stats. We've got 281, I'll, I'll look at this one here. 281 to begin, as I said, it's a good bit weaker than Tiki, but there are five placements. And it's second upgrade for 20,000, gets to 750, which actually catches up with the Tiki Hydra pretty quickly. Now we got 50,000, so let me just get my final. There's the four of them, yep, so we got one more Skeletal Hydra, so check that out. That, oh, did it place, or are we too close? We were too close. Right, we need to make sure we aren't too close to that other one. Can it not fit in? Wait, oh, there it is. Okay, it's, yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. Right, so there's our five skeletal hydras all in our second row protecting this island. We're going to place as we move back, make sure we've got a good line of defense because they will come quickly and they will be pretty strong. Especially when you see the likes of these, the Buccaneers and the Sharks on the way. So, let's go with an Aqua Hydra. I'm going to check how many placements these actually have. There's two. Can we fit another one there? There's three. Four placements so far. Okay, four placement on the Aqua Hydra. Now, let's check out the stats. We have 618 to begin. For 40,000, it's going to go to 1312, but two on speed compared to one over here and here so pretty epic and um, look at the money coming in by the way <laughs> we we can't spend it as fast as it's coming in which is always a good problem to have but we're gonna move on to the red reef next wait is he gonna leak how did you let him get by wait how many how many red reefs can i it's only two placement on the red reef oh no all right so that means we really need to get going we need we need corals corals have to come out to play guys here it is, the beefy 1% Coral Hydra, 3900, a 1 on the speed, 125 on the range and will help so much in this because they just, they're just crazy how fast these enemies can come down. But is it one placement? This is the moment of truth. It is a one placement! Oh no, we could be in trouble in this map with that. You know that this could be very difficult. Right, we gotta start going on our upgrades. Let's uh, upgrade. Did he get rid of that? You did. Okay, we need this Coral Hydra in defense right now, so we're going to get the upgrade on that. Check it out. Tier 2 of the Coral Hydra, 9300 for 13 or for 130 range. Speed stays the same. And definitely a huge jump here with the 400,000 up to 19 and a half. I'm going to take it now because we just need this protection. We're only on wave 10, and they are, they're moving swiftly down. So there's tier 3, 19,500 is going to jump to 33,000, 750 though, it's going to be a little bit pricey for a little while, but I do think we'll get the money really quick. So let me get up the front, let's get the damage going. These Tiki Hydras are super cheap now compared to the money we've got, so I'm just going to go through this one really quick, make sure we've got some good defenses. I'm just going to up fully upgrade some of these. Because I want to go back then and have a look when I am upgrading them. But we really need we really need all the damage we can get right now. I'm so nervous on this map every time I play it. Uh, there we go. Let's get that fully upgraded. And maybe we'll just we'll fully upgrade this skeletal. We just want to make sure we're not leaking. There we go. Alright, so let's have a quick look at the tier 5 of the Tiki. As you can see, with 5,000 placement, it's never going to go too high. So 3,750, but pretty epic for the actual cost of it. Which was... Oh, I can't I can't look away for too long. Are we good? Everybody good at the back? Those red lobsters are coming. Right, I need to upgrade this one. So 750, 9,000 is cost. Let's get an upgrade. Now we're going to go up to 12, but it's only 15,000. And we're going to go to 1,800 for 20. So overall investment to get this to the 3,750 mark is really, really low, guys. Really low. Um, all right, we need, we need, we need, we need, we need this one to upgrade. Let's go with the coral. Tier 4 now, up to 33,000. Let's go. Oh, yes. 25,500 is going to move to 66,000. Now, I do have the pet boost on, of course, but 145 on the range, up to 150. So how, how big is that? That's a pretty good range. I got, I'm not going to lie. That's that's a nice distance. Now, one by 2 million, we just still need to get that upgrade. But for now, guys, I need to just power through some of these upgrades, make sure we are well defended. Um, these Captain Lobsters are so scary. Right, there's another fully upgraded Aqua Hydra. Let's go with this one. So it's going to go 1,300 uh, up to 2,250, up to 3,750. It says that, but it just takes a second to upgrade. There we go. 3,750, quite fast as well. So we're going to just get these Aqua ones fully upgraded. We're only on wave 
13. We may have maybe hindered ourselves by only... Oh, I fell off. Only bringing the Hydra team. I mean, that's part of the challenge. We want to see if they can actually do it. Uh, whether they can or not, I'm not sure. Let's find out. Are they good enough to take on gold bones by themselves? That is the test. I mean, there's definitely better ways of placing and figuring that out. But for now, we'll just see if... We're only on wave 14, right? So if we can get it... Get them all upgraded nice and early. Maybe they can do it. So 750, there's a blue lobster going down the middle. You definitely need upgrades right up here. Red Reef. And then we've got the Skeletal Hydras. So there we go. This is the Hydra team, guys. I hope you are excited about them. I hope you enjoyed seeing the stats. We're going to skip ahead, see how we get on. Leave it down below in the comments. Do you think this will win? I'm going to fully upgrade them all now. Will this team be able to defeat Gold Bones? I don't think so, based on what I've seen so far, but who knows? There it is, fully upgraded team. No, not just yet. We need the 1.2 million for the Coral Hydra, who's going to go to 71,400. Very excited about that. But that's our team. Can we defend? We're 50 out of 100. I don't know. I don't like my chances right now. I'm going to make sure they're all upgraded. No, you're not, mister. What you doing? And here we go on the Coral. 1.2 million. Now, there is our fully upgraded Hydra team. Let's have a quick look at this. Now, the thing is, they look epic. I really love them. They are such good towers as well. It's just all about where you choose to use them, how you choose to place them. Like, look at this big guy. Oh, he's so strong. He's so good. I like this one as well, but definitely, I think, I think Tiki is my favorite. Look at him. He's so good. He's super good. And it's such a great um, starter tower. 5,000 placements, such a good early game tower. Right, here we go. Wave 17. I will be back closer to the end of the game. And let's see if this Hydra team could do the job. So we're on to wave 26, and this is where it's gonna get tricky. We've got the gold enemies coming out. So Gold Bones has turned his enemies gold, making them extra strong. And this is where I feel the Hydras might not make it, but let's see. I mean, maybe they could do it. Oh, these golds are making it too far up the map. No, come on. The Coral Hydra carried as much as it could, but the Hydra team was no match for Gold Bones. I hope you guys enjoyed the showcase of the Hydras. And don't forget, if you collect all five by the time the crate has left the building, then you get the Mega Hydra up here, which is going to be pretty amazing. I cannot wait. Take a look at this guy. Wow, it is such a cool tower. I can't wait to see how many people get that, um, just like the God Kuma previously. But yeah, we've got one at least. We might end up spinning to get a second because I like to get a second one so I could do a little giveaway for you guys. But for now, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you soon for more. Bye, guys.